Hello, Ram fans. Welcome to the second edition of the Softball Ram Roundup. I'm joined by head coach Bridge Orchard, and I will be joined later by freshman Paige Rao. Um, coach, when I first talked to you a couple weeks ago, 13 games ago, um, we had just we had just finished up the out conference slate. We were just about to travel down to Dayton, um, and since then the team has rattled off 11 out of 13 wins, 11 and two. Um, with one of those coming out of conference, so a great start to conference play, eight and one, um, including some really tough, you know, challenging series is at uh, Dayton and at St. Joseph's uh, in the meantime. So, in the in the last couple of weeks, how have you seen this team perform? Um, it's been exciting. I think they're really ready to get after it. They came back hungry and strong, and I think they've just been stepping up. They've been locking in. They've been really focused and kind of picking up for each other when they needed to, and really coming out with some clutch hits when they need to get clutch hits and stepping up for those conference games, especially like you said on the road. And a big part of uh, the team's success the last couple of weeks has been the pitching. Uh, Augie's been fantastic. Uh, Paige, definitely in the, in the circle as well. Uh, I believe only one of those 13 games, an opponent scored over five runs. Um, also, if you want to think about it like that, yeah. <laughs> but um, just how clutch and important has that been in this steady stream of success? It's been great. Obviously, if you have good pitching, you're going to win You're going to win a lot of games, and our hitting's going to come along. But I definitely think our defense has stepped up, our pitching has stepped up, and this resulted in some wins based on that. Yeah, hitting-wise, too, it's, it's definitely stepping up. Um, with Maddie Shaw out just recently, but she should be back in the weekend. Um, the others have to definitely step up for something, some somebody an important part of your lineup like that. One person I wanted to single out, who I was hoping to get on today too, is uh, Chelsea Skrepinak. Um, she's been hitting right around 400 this season. She's been lights out. Um, but as a whole, your 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 lineup. I know you've been tinkering a little bit with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, how happy have you been with uh, their performances? I mean, I think it's been great because we did. We were definitely hit with a lot of diversity there, and it was nice to see them kind of step up and rise to that challenge. Obviously, we never want to see somebody go down. But like you said, with Scrub stepping up, when she gets fired up and she gets locked oh, in, yeah. she's almost unstoppable. So it's it's been great. Obviously, like I said, you don't want to you don't want to have to be in those adversity situations. Mm -hmm. But it was nice to see when we were faced with that that she was able to be a leader and step up really offensively and defensively for us and kind of carry the team until everybody starts catching up. And now, as we look ahead, you have uh, another two weekend road series. There's been a lot of those recently. Um, but you have URI this weekend. You have SLU, St. Louis, next weekend with a doubleheader on next Wednesday here at Boshi Field against St. Bonaventure. What are you looking for out of those three series? Our biggest thing is just like kind of do what we've been doing. You know, really don't take any game too bigger than the other, but just kind of step up, get focused. And our team plays well when they're ready, when they're fired up and they lock in and they really stay up and they really stay focused. And I think the conference game's coming up. We're just looking for them to just stay steady. You know, really just play some good defense, get some good pitching, key hits, and really step up and play well. All right, awesome. Thanks, Coach, and uh, good luck this upcoming uh, couple weeks. Thank you. Now I'm joined by freshman Paige Rao. Paige, thanks for coming on the Roundup. Thank you for having me. Um, absolutely. This is your first time, obviously, on the Roundup that we're talking to you here. Um, so let's just get your, you know, it's your first year at Fordham. I mean, we're already in mid-April, so you've had a lot of time to be on campus and everything with the team. But how's uh, your first year been? Um, it's actually been great. It's settled down a lot. I know in the beginning, before conference play, it was a lot playing like the bigger teams and you know like kind of took a lot of transition especially when you come out against UCLA but it's definitely like calmed down and you're like my confidence has definitely gone up but other than that it's great um well I want to insert a question here that I didn't tell you about but um like how was that transition playing a UCLA like starting your season against such ranked teams teams that receive votes starting at UCLA and then now kind of gradually easing into like conference play and everything um I mean, it's definitely like a feeling that you never like. I won't forget it. Like, it's definitely very high paced, and uh, it's not really like high paced hasn't changed. But it's definitely like going out and playing girls that you've seen on TV. You're kind of like starstruck, but at the same time, you're like, oh, I have to make this play. And now you're just playing everyone in your conference, and you're like, you can kind of settle in, but still, you got to be competitive and stuff. So that's definitely a cool experience, to, especially playing like Rachel Garcia and Alexis Osorio. So. No, for sure. Uh, must have been fun. But um, like I said, now we're in mid-April. Tons of games. We've already played 37 games so far in your career. Um, you've been succeeding at the plate um, on, the, on, the, on the rubber. Um, how have you liked so far how your season has gone? Um, I mean, I'm almost proud of myself, but I'm not ready to settle in. I'm always like ready to reach the next step and everything. But um, I think I'm like a lot more confident now. I know in the beginning I was kind of like, not stressed, but a little bit like, oh, like I have to prove myself, I have to play well. And now that I have that mentality that I'm confident, I know I can make the play, I know I can hit the ball. It's been a lot easier, but still, like I said, get the next step. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, you've been asked to pitch, you've been asked to play all around the infield. 
Um, and just this past week, or this week, you've been awarded uh, your second Rookie of the Week honor. So congrats. Thank you. Um, and uh, I mean, how does that feel to be rewarded for your successful play so far? Um, it's great. It makes it, it almost makes me want to keep getting more, and especially the second one I got. I got it with Augie, so it's always nice to have it as a, with a teammate too. Yep. So hopefully we can keep the almost like a streak going. Yep. Keep getting the awards. I hope so too. So uh, congrats again, and thanks for uh, coming on the roundup. Thank you for having me. That'll do it for this edition of the Round Roundup. Thanks to head coach Bridget Orchard, as always, and freshman Paige Rao for joining me. Um, the Rams are back in action against at Rhode Island this weekend for a three-game set doubleheader on, on Saturday at noon and a series finale on Sunday at noon. And then fans come out to Bohoshi Field for a doubleheader against St. Bonaventure here next Wednesday. Uh, those, that game will also be streamed live on the A10 Digital Network if you can't make it out, but doubleheader on Wednesday and then before they go to St. Louis again for a three-game series. Thanks for watching this week's edition of the Softball Round Roundup, and uh, we'll see you next time.